Right. Looking at this because the compressor's not running. Um, first thing I've done, just touched the crankcase heater and that was cold. So it kind of points to there not being any power unless the heater's faulty. Um, somebody had already had the cover loose, so we've took that off. The screws weren't done up. Um, and something that's worrying is that contact. It looks like it's pulled in. So let's see if we can get the tester on there. Bad. It's not simple. They burnt that contactor. Well, we just checked the two capacitors in there. They're, they're within range. There's one for the fan mount and one for the um, compressor. So you check out. Okay, the wiring looks okay. Got a new contactor overloads and the auxiliary contact that is on when the contact is off and that powers up the uh, crankcase here. So we've got all the lids put back on this anyway and then we want to put the amp probe on there and try it. Right. In there. Right, fingers crossed. Mm, more of the same. It's weird. Doing the same thing, but for hopefully for a different reason. Because when we checked it, we had 240 volts going through the old contactor, and then we had um, 240 volts back on the neutral. It wasn't making it through. Now this is a uh, read the fucking manual problem, it's my fault, we've got a four pole contactor and I've stuck the um, live in the auxiliary on the side and it should be in this one here. Well, let's try again. on pump down so it's, it's just uh, just pump down and that's it. I would have thought it'd have run longer than that. I might go and give it a try and see if it runs. Load on at the moment, so there's a bit of heat coming in here, thrust in on that. Just pop down, just put frost all over it from running the air load in it. What I wanted to check was it wasn't going to be a really short gas and be on and off, on and off on the LP switch, and that's what was burning out the old contactor. But they're quite tricky um, to test them when they've got no milk in these, really. Um, really what you want to do is get the hose in there and put a few hundred litres of water in there but you know we ain't got time to do 